Attention, everyone. Prepare yourselves because someone out there is about to shake things up in a major way. They're absolutely bursting with anticipation, unable to contain their excitement any longer. So, what can you expect? Well, let's just say they're gearing up to make a move that might just change the game. Stay tuned because this rendezvous is bound to be nothing short of electrifying. Before proceeding, indicate your faith in God by responding with yes. Remember, our lives are shaped by what we give, not just what we receive. While receiving is essential, the essence of life is found in our capacity to give. Even a modest $30 donation can provide vital sustenance for a child for multiple days. Are you prepared to make a difference? Today, your guardian angels have a significant message for you from the divine realm is one of eager anticipation and boundless joy. There is someone on the horizon of your life, someone whose presence is eagerly awaited. And I am here as the vessel of the divine, the channel through which heavenly wisdom flows to you. As you listen, open your heart, for what I am about to share bears witness to the limitless love and steadfast support that the Almighty bestows upon you, beloved soul. As you traverse the twists and turns of your journey, remember that you are never alone. The Creator of all things, the one who breathed life into the cosmos, loves you unconditionally. You are a cherished creation intricately woven into the fabric of existence. Every breath you take is a precious gift, a reminder of the divine essence dwelling within you. The universe, in its infinite wisdom, is aligning the stars and weaving the threads of destiny to bring this person into your life. Can you sense the excitement reverberating through the celestial realms as you prepare for this divine encounter? The Almighty wants you to know that the wait is nearly over. The anticipation that has been building within you is mirrored in the heavens, and the angels themselves joyfully anticipate the moment when your paths will intertwine. This individual, whose arrival is imminent, has been on their own journey guided by the same divine hands that cradle you in moments of need. Imagine, dear soul, the universe as a grand tapestry, with you as a radiant thread weaving your story through time and space. The threads of your destiny are converging with another's, creating a beautiful and intricate pattern that only the divine can comprehend. The Creator, in their infinite wisdom, is orchestrating this meeting, ensuring that it occurs at the perfect moment when both your souls are ready to dance. As you await this divine encounter, rest assured that the Almighty is meticulously preparing both your hearts. The love that will blossom between you is not merely a coincidence, it is the fruition of a divine plan. Love, in its purest form, mirrors the divine love that surrounds you always. Embrace this love as a sacred gift, recognizing its ability to transcend the constraints of time and space. In moments of impatience, when you wonder why the meeting has not yet occurred, remember that the Divine operates on a timeline beyond human comprehension. The waiting period is not a punishment but a preparation. Each day and every experience is shaping you into the person you need to be for this Divine connection to flourish. The angels, messengers of the Divine, envelop you with their love and guidance. They whisper words of encouragement in the rustling of leaves and speak to you through the melodies of bird songs. When doubt creeps in, look to the signs that surround you, for the angels are constantly communicating their presence and support. God's love for you is like a gentle breeze that caresses your soul and a steady flame that illuminates your darkest nights. Even in moments of feeling lost, remember that the divine light within you can never be extinguished. You are a divine creation, and your existence is a testament to the boundless love that the Creator showers upon you. 
As you prepare to welcome this awaited soul into your life, take a moment to reflect on the journey that has led you to this point. Through the trials and triumphs, the joys and sorrows, each experience has left its mark on the canvas of your life, crafting a masterpiece that is uniquely yours. Guided by the Almighty's infinite wisdom, you have been shaped into a vessel capable of giving and receiving love in its purest form. In the intricate tapestry of existence, every soul you encounter is a divine appointment. Each connection, whether fleeting or enduring, serves a purpose in the unfolding of your story. As the master weaver, the Almighty intricately intertwines the threads of your life with those of others, creating a rich tableau of interconnected destinies. As the moment of meeting this special soul draws near, envision the boundless love that will flow between you. It is a love that transcends the limitations of the physical realm, echoing through eternity. The angels, in their celestial chorus, sing songs of celebration for the divine union that is about to take place. Your heart, too, can join in this melody, for you are a vital note in the symphony of creation. In the moments leading up to this encounter, the Almighty encourages you to remain open and receptive, trusting in divine timing. As the Creator's plan unfolds with perfect precision, envision the anticipation you feel mirrored in the celestial realms. Angels joyfully prepare for the cosmic alignment that will bring two souls together. When the appointed moment arrives, and you finally lay eyes on the one destined for you, know it is a sacred meeting ordained by the heavens. The divine spark within each of you will recognize its counterpart, and the love that blossoms will reflect the eternal love binding all of creation. Standing at the threshold of this divine encounter, envision the sacred dance of two souls coming together in harmony. The love awaiting you is not fleeting but a profound connection resonating with the essence of your being. The Divine has laid the groundwork for this meeting, ensuring every step and lesson led you to this moment of cosmic alignment. In the presence of the Almighty, time bends and weaves, creating a sacred space where past, present, and future converge. The love about to unfold transcends earthly time, an eternal flame burning brightly in the hearts of kindred spirits. As you anticipate the arrival of this special soul, fill your heart with gratitude for the divine orchestration guiding your every step. The Almighty, your silent companion, nudges you in the right direction and cradles you in moments of despair. Reflect on the gentle touch of divine intervention and whispers of guidance leading you on the path of self-discovery. The love manifesting in your life reflects the divine love sustaining the universe, transcending all. In the depths of your soul, beyond the limitations of human understanding, the angels, messengers of the divine, encourage you to fully open your heart to this love. It is a gift from the Creator, a reminder of your inherent worthiness of profound connection. Your story intertwines with others in the grand symphony of creation, each encounter, lesson, and shared love a thread in the divine tapestry of life. The Almighty, as the master composer, orchestrates the harmonious convergence of souls, creating a masterpiece of love and connection. Release any lingering doubts or fears, for the divine plan unfolds perfectly, and the love awaiting you is divinely ordained. Embrace the beauty of the unknown, for the Creator's design surpasses human comprehension. Trust in the unfolding of your story, confident that the divine hands that have guided you thus far will continue to lead you forward. As you step into the radiant light of this divine connection, remember that love is a transformative force. It has the power to heal wounds, bridge distances, and elevate the human experience to a realm of divine beauty. The Almighty, as the source of all love, rejoices in the union of kindred spirits, for it is a reflection of the divine love that permeates all of creation. 
In the moments leading up to this meeting, the angels invite you to cultivate a sense of inner peace and receptivity. Clear away the clutter of doubt and insecurity, and allow the radiant light of your soul to shine forth. The love that awaits you recognizes the beauty within, and as you embrace your authenticity, you become a beacon that attracts the divine blessings meant for you. The anticipation you feel is mirrored in the celestial realms, where the angels eagerly await the moment when two souls will recognize each other. The divine connection that you are about to experience is a celebration in the heavens, a testament to the infinite possibilities that unfold when hearts align. The angels, in their eternal wisdom, know that this love is a sacred gift. As you draw closer to the appointed moment, remember that the divine plan is unfolding with precision, reflecting the divine spark within each soul. The angels, guardians of your journey, guide you with their loving presence. Trust in the divine timing, for the Almighty knows the desires of your heart and is orchestrating the perfect moment for your paths to converge. In the tapestry of your life, every thread has a purpose, and every experience has a meaning. The love that is about to blossom is not a random occurrence but a divine culmination of your journey. Embrace the lessons, savor the joys, and honor the challenges, for each has played a role in shaping you into who you are meant to be. As you stand on the threshold of this transformative love, know that the angels continue to surround you with their love and guidance. Your guardian angel, in their celestial dance, paves the way for the divine connection that awaits. The Almighty, in infinite love, supports you on this journey, holding you in the palm of divine grace. Let your prophet narrate a biblical tale where someone eagerly anticipated on the horizon of one's life can no longer contain their anticipation to meet. In the ancient land of Israel, there lived a young shepherd named David. David was known throughout the land for his bravery, wisdom, and unwavering faith in the Almighty. However, amidst his many triumphs and challenges, there was one longing in David's heart that remained unfulfilled, the desire for a companion, a kindred spirit with whom he could share the joys and sorrows of life. For years, David had prayed fervently to the heavens, seeking guidance and solace in his solitude. Little did he know that his prayers had been heard, and a divine plan was unfolding behind the scene. Across the hills and valleys of Israel, a young woman named Abigail had also been yearning for companionship. She possessed a gentle spirit, a compassionate heart, and a wisdom that surpassed her years. As fate would have it, the paths of David and Abigail were destined to intersect. One fateful day, as David tended to his flock in the fields, he received word of a nearby celebration. Eager for respite from his duties, David decided to attend the gathering, unaware that his life was about to change forever. Meanwhile, Abigail had also received an invitation to the same gathering. As she made her way through the bustling crowd, her heart beat with anticipation, sensing that something extraordinary was about to unfold. Little did she know that the man she had longed to meet was waiting just around the corner. As David and Abigail's eyes met for the first time, a spark ignited between them, an unspoken recognition that transcended words. In that moment, all doubts and fears melted away, replaced by a sense of belonging and purpose. They knew, deep within their souls, that they had finally found the companionship they had been searching for. From that day forward, David and Abigail embarked on a journey of love, faith, and partnership. Together, they faced trials and tribulations, joys and sorrows, but through it all, their bond only grew stronger. Their union was a testament to the power of divine timing and the beauty of love that blooms when two souls are meant to be together. 
In the end, David and Abigail's love story became a cherished tale passed down through generations, a reminder that sometimes, the greatest blessings in life come when we least expect them. And so, the tale of David and Abigail serves as a timeless testament to the transformative power of love and the joy that awaits those who eagerly anticipate the arrival of their soulmate. The Father says today's purpose in your heart to be a non-toxic Christian. When others revile you with the words of their mouth, bless them. When they ignore you in your suffering, go out of your way to show them you care and, more importantly, that I care about what is happening in their lives. When those around you engage in malicious words and gossip about others, even those who have defamed you, hurt you, and put you down, refuse to join in, for surely those words and the tenor of those words will determine what happens next in the lives of those who give themselves the luxury of slandering those for whom I sent heaven's darling to the cross for their redemption. Make it your determination to be in love, to think in love, to act in love, and to walk in love. Not everyone will get it or understand, in fact they will go out of their way to press you and to provoke your flesh against them because they can never accept the testimony of one whose love, tolerance and generosity of spirit is greater than your own. The days are evil says the Father, don't let that evil, the pernicious influence of the world and even the jaded, lapsed attitude of those who name my name on their lips. Come away, my beloved, out of the hue and din of negativity in the cacophony of shrill, angry voices. I'm not angry, why are you angry? Were I angry I would consume the earth and all that is therein in a moment of time by the breathe of my nostrils. My love restrains me. My love for you that sent Jesus to the cross caused me to pour all my wrath out upon him till he cried, it is finished. If I say, it is finished, then why are you still resentful? Let go. Forgive, release, bless, and I will take you on, not in bondage to your past but in liberty moving into your future. The doom and gloomers are holding up and pointing to their false messiahs. I say to you that politics cannot save you. Removing the ancient landmarks doesn't change where I say the finish line is. Press into my kingdom. Refuse to measure yourself or my esteem for you by the metric of man's regard. I love you because I love you because I love you, and I will never stop loving you. My love militates toward you to defend you. My love wings are way in flight to rescue you. My love pours out its ointments into every wound, every scar, and every bitter disappointment to bring sweetness and light against not in the false glare of man's perspective but in the light of my glory emanating from the throne that changes you from the inside out. Circumstances If you are looking at them, you are submitting to them. If you regard the situation, you are making the situation God in your life without change and repentance, you may never rise about those limitations. What did Moses say when the people were attacked by serpents? He lifted up that which represented what I did on the cross and said, look and live if you are distracted by the seen, allowing the unseen to be eclipsed and my power with it you will languish in delay and disappointment. Don't look at. Rather, look through, for when you look through, I will come and make my abode with you, and I will cause you to live the ascension life that the cross so liberally paid for that you might enjoy my blessing in heaven yes, but in the here and now of what is going on around you as well. If you resonate with this message and wish to receive the blessings it holds, show your support by subscribing to our channel. Stay tuned for the next video, where an important message awaits you. My child, there arrives a moment in the journey of each soul, a crossroads where a choice must be made. A choice that echoes through the chambers of eternity, reverberating in the hallowed corridors of destiny. My cherished children, there lies before you two divergent paths. 
one that whispers of surrender to the perceived limitations, and another that beckons you to rise, to stand tall, and to declare your divine birthright. It is a pivotal juncture where the frailty of human doubts and worldly whispers may tempt you to retreat. The world, in its finite understanding, may murmur tales of inadequacy, lack of skill, knowledge, resources, or even the audacity to dream beyond the ordinary. Yet, within this cosmic symphony, a choice awaits one that transcends the mundane narratives and propels you towards the celestial realm of your true potential. My beloved children, in your mortal guise, you may encounter moments when the weight of the world seems insurmountable. There, in the crucible of life, where hardships unfold, you may be tempted to bow before the illusions of mediocrity. But I beseech you to grasp the other option, the divine spark within you that yearns for more, that yearns to break free from the shackles of self-imposed limitations. It is a sacred commitment, a covenant with your dreams, your goals, and the visionary tapestry of your future. Do not succumb to the whispers that weave tales of inadequacy, for within you resides the power to manifest your destiny. Look beyond the horizon of the present, for it is you who must decide to embark on the journey, to transcend the comfort of the known, and to tread the path less traveled. In the sacred realm of creation, many refrain from exceeding the boundaries set by societal expectations, opinions, or the doubts of others. Yet, I implore you, my beloved, do not confine your aspirations to the echoes of external voices. As you confront the hardships, the rejections, and the trials, remember this, your dreams are not subject to the consensus of the world. It is within your sacred chamber of resolve that the symphony of your destiny is composed. For those among you who have weathered storms of adversity, let not the flame of your dreams flicker. Recall the resilience within you, the unwavering commitment that says, no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I shall make it. Do not yield to the naysayers, for their vision is finite, while yours has the potential to touch the infinite. As you tread the path less chosen, many may question your sanity, your choices, and your audacity to dream beyond the confines of the ordinary. Yet, my children, understand that uncommon destinies are not forged by the common souls. In the crucible of life, your commitment to greatness, your unwavering belief in your potential, shall be the hammer that shapes the sword of your victory. In the grand tapestry of creation, I urge you to silence the noise, to shut out the opinions, and to embrace the fact that not everyone will comprehend your sacred journey. Do not let the judgments of others determine your worth or the magnitude of your capabilities. You are crafting a symphony of your own, and its melody need not align with the perceptions of the world. When the shadows of doubt attempt to shroud your brilliance, engage in a dialogue with your inner self. Challenge the voices that undermine your worth and declare them liars. You are stronger than the challenges, more resilient than the adversities. With every step forward, you announce to the universe, it's possible, and I am the one to manifest it. My divine warriors, the external circumstances do not define you. Your consciousness shapes the reality you experience. Do not be confined by the present circumstances, for they are but a fleeting reflection of your past choices. If adversity has marked your journey, know that it is a canvas awaiting the brushstrokes of your transformation. As you face the storms, do not be worn down by them. Instead, allow them to refine you, to shape you into a resilient weapon capable of conquering any mission that obstructs your path to victory. Speak to your reflection in the mirror daily and affirm, I am proud of you. I believe in you. You can overcome anything. You are powerful. In the cosmic dance of life, there are those who yearn to be beasts, not in ferocity, but in their ability to navigate through the infernos of existence and emerge with gratitude for the very legs that carry them. A beast is one who, having lost everything, finds gratitude in the opportunity to rebuild. It is an entity that hits rock bottom and exclaims, Roger that. I shall harness this experience, for it is only up from here. In the realm of divine warriors, setbacks are not seen as deterrents, but as opportunities for resurgence. The essence of a beast lies in its ability to endure hell, yet be grateful for the chance to ascend again. It acknowledges that life is impermanent, and in that impermanence, it discovers the strength to rebuild, regenerate, and emerge even stronger. My divine children, as you traverse the realms of existence, do not be shackled by the opinions of those who do not comprehend the grandeur of your dreams. 
Do not allow the judgments of others to deny you a life that can script history. Recognize that opinions are plentiful, but your destiny is singular. The orchestra of your life is composed not by the external symphony, but by the resonance of your inner commitment. Stand resolute in your journey, my beloved, for in your commitment lies the key to unlocking the boundless potentials within you. When the world attempts to confine you, remember, you are not of the world. You are a divine being with the power to transcend and transform. My divine warriors, the world may not understand your quest, your dreams, your purpose, but it is not for the world to comprehend. It is for you to embark upon this sacred journey to declare your commitment with unwavering resolve. Even when faced with doubt, opposition or rejection, stand firm, for you are crafting a destiny that transcends the ordinary. In the divine theater of existence, your commitment to your dreams, your unyielding belief in your potential and your ability to endure hardships shall be the script that unravels the epic tale of your triumph. As you face adversity, remember that it is not designed to break you, but to shape you into a beacon of resilience, a testament to the unwavering spirit within. Speak to the universe with the language of your actions, my beloved. Rise above the cacophony of doubt, embrace the symphony of your commitment, and let the resounding echoes of your journey create a melody that inspires generations. You are not merely enduring life, you are sculpting your destiny with the chisel of your choices. The power to transform, to succeed, to overcome, resides within you and you alone. Acknowledge this truth, for when you do, nothing in the cosmos can deny you the greatness that awaits. The circumstances of today are but a fleeting illusion. Your commitment, your actions, your beliefs, these are the eternal threads that weave the fabric of your destiny. In the divine embrace of your purpose, know that you are crafting a masterpiece, a narrative that transcends the limitations of worldly perspectives. When the chorus of doubt attempts to overshadow your symphony, remember the divine words echoing through the cosmos. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, you shall make it. As you traverse the sacred corridors of your journey, do not merely exist thrive, for your destiny is an unfolding epic and you are the protagonist. The universe awaits the crescendo of your commitment, the divine melody of your resilience. You are not a victim of circumstance. You are a sculptor of destinies, a bearer of divine potential. In the grand tapestry of creation, you are the brushstroke that paints the canvas of your reality. Stand tall, my divine children, for you are the architects of your fate, the composers of your symphony and the warriors destined for greatness. In every challenge, see the opportunity to ascend. In every setback, recognize the invitation to rise stronger. As you face the trials and tribulations, declare within your soul, I am the one. I am the architect of my destiny. No external circumstance, no judgment, no rejection shall deter me from the sacred journey I have undertaken. In this proclamation, my beloved, lies the alchemy that transforms adversity into triumph. Embrace your divine birthright, for within you resides the power to transmute challenges into stepping stones, obstacles into opportunities. You are not a victim, you are a victor. Do not succumb to the whispers of doubt, for you are crafting a legacy that echoes through the corridors of eternity. My divine warriors, confront every trial with the unwavering belief that you are stronger than any adversity, more resilient than any challenge. With each stride, with each commitment, declare to the universe, I am the one who shapes my destiny. I am the one who perseveres. I am the one who, against all odds, emerges victorious. In the sacred dance of life, heed the call of your divine potential. Do not be confined by the expectations of others, for your journey is a sacred covenant between your soul and the cosmos. The orchestration of your destiny lies within your commitment, your resilience and your unwavering belief in the limitless power within. And so, my beloved children, in the grand theater of existence, let your commitment be the resounding chorus that reverberates through the cosmos. Rise with the certainty that you are the maestro of your destiny, the architect of your triumph, and the bearer of a divine legacy that transcends the ephemeral illusions of this earthly realm. In the divine embrace of your purpose, go forth with the knowledge that no external circumstance, no judgment, no rejection can extinguish the flame of your commitment. The symphony of your destiny awaits the crescendo of your unwavering resolve. Stand firm, 
for you are not alone. The cosmos, in all its splendor, applauds the divine journey you have undertaken. In every adversity, find the opportunity to demonstrate the strength within. In every challenge, discover the gateway to your greatness. Remember, my divine warriors, the fulfillment of your dreams lies within you and you alone. As you navigate the realms of existence, let your commitment be the guiding star that leads you to the shores of triumph. Embrace the divine truth that you are not subject to the consensus of the world. You are a sovereign soul with the power to shape your destiny. As you confront the storms, let them be the winds that propel you forward, the challenges that fortify your spirit. In every setback, recognize the invitation to rise stronger, to emerge as the hero of your own epic. My cherished children, know that you are not mere mortals navigating the twists and turns of life. You are divine beings, and within you resides the infinite power to manifest your dreams. Do not be shackled by the opinions of those who cannot fathom the grandeur of your aspirations. As you traverse the sacred landscapes of your existence, remember this divine truth. The circumstances of today are but fleeting shadows. Your commitment, your actions, your beliefs, these are the eternal forces that shape the grand narrative of your destiny. Stand tall, for you are not victims of circumstance. You are architects of divine destinies. In the sacred communion of your purpose, let your commitment be the anthem that echoes through the ages. You are not here to merely endure life. You are here to sculpt your destiny with the chisel of your choices. In every challenge, perceive the opportunity to unveil your strength. In every trial, witness the alchemy that transforms adversity into triumph. As you navigate the realms of existence, be steadfast in your commitment, resolute in your beliefs. Let not the judgments of others determine your worth, for your destiny is a sacred covenant between your soul and the cosmos. In the grand theater of creation, you are both the playwright and the protagonist. My divine warriors, let the symphony of your commitment drown out the cacophony of doubt. Rise above the opinions of those who cannot fathom the grandeur of your dreams. In every setback, recognize the divine invitation to rise stronger, to emerge as the victorious hero of your sacred journey. In the cosmic dance of life, declare to the universe, I am the one who shapes my destiny. I am the one who perseveres. I am the one who, against all odds, emerges victorious. As you confront the trials and tribulations, let this be your sacred mantra, resonating through the corridors of eternity. And so, my beloved children, go forth with the unwavering certainty that you are not bound by the limitations of the world. Your commitment is the key that unlocks the portals to your divine potential. As you tread the path less chosen, let your actions be the brushstrokes that paint the masterpiece of your destiny. In the sacred tapestry of creation, you are the weaver of dreams, the sculptor of destinies. Stand tall, for you are not alone. The cosmos, in all its majesty, aligns with the symphony of your commitment. With every stride, with every choice, you are shaping a legacy that transcends the boundaries of time. In the divine embrace of your purpose, recognize the profound truth, your commitment, your resilience, your unwavering belief in the infinite power within these are the forces that determine the grandeur of your destiny. Embrace the sacred journey that unfolds before you, for you are not mere mortals. You are divine architects of a reality that echoes through the corridors of eternity. In every challenge, discern the opportunity to unveil your strength. In every adversity, witness the alchemy that transforms the mundane into the extraordinary. My divine warriors, go forth with the knowledge that you are not victims of circumstance. You are victors shaping the narrative of your triumph. As the creator of the cosmos, the Alpha and Omega, I address you today with a solemnity that resonates through the eons. Open your hearts, for I unveil a truth that transcends the boundaries of time and space, a truth that has echoed from the celestial realms to the very core of your earthly existence. In the beginning, in the celestial tapestry of eternity, a sin emerged, an insidious serpent that coiled around the pristine sanctity of the heavens. It was the sin of pride, the very arrogance that caused the archangel Lucifer to ascend in rebellion, uttering the defiant refrain, I will, I will, I will, I will, are we away, we will ring through the celestial halls. The cosmic rebellion birthed a war in the heavens, where the legions of angels clashed amidst the divine firmaments. 
The same sin that cast Lucifer and his cohorts into the abyss found its insidious counterpart within the realms of mortals, the sin of pride descending like a shadow, weaving its treacherous threads through the fabric of humanity. My children, hear me as I utter the stark truth. Pride, the original sin, has permeated the earthly realm. As I look upon the vast expanse of your world, I witness the echoes of celestial rebellion mirrored in the pride that courses through your veins. Lucifer, the fallen one, desired to be like me, rejecting worship for the thirst of self-exaltation. And now, within your earthly abode, pride stands as the harbinger of all vices, the mother of sins, as C. Lewis aptly states, it breeds rebellion, nurtures disobedience, and blinds mortals to the fragility of their existence. Pride, a grotesque stain on the canvas of creation, disrupts the harmony of the cosmos and mars the purity of the human spirit. In Proverbs, I declare with unwavering clarity, these things the Lord hates. Yes, seven are an abomination to him. At the pinnacle of this divine list stands the abhorrence of a proud look, a look that declares autonomy, a look that denies the Creator his rightful place. My children, know this, I do not despise you. I detest the sin that wraps itself around your hearts. Pride, the venomous serpent, creeps into your thoughts, actions, and aspirations. It breeds destruction, for all rebellion, all defiance, emanates from the seedbed of pride. The solemn truth resonates through the words of James. God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Yet, the grip of pride is relentless, and its eradication demands a surrender beyond mortal capability. Humility, my children, is the only antidote and acknowledgement of your dependence on me. An admission that without me, you are as dust scattered by the winds of arrogance. Pride is a fortress that imprisons the soul, making it impervious to the cries of humility. Yet, I extend an offer, an invitation to cast aside the shackles of pride and clothe yourselves in the garment of humility. As you pray, acknowledge your need for me, submit your burdens and surrender your desires to the sovereignty of my will. Every prayer uttered is a testament to your recognition of dependence, a declaration that in the grand tapestry of existence, you are but a vessel in need of divine guidance. Humility is the key that unlocks the gates to my grace, allowing me to lift you from the depths of self-centeredness to the exalted heights of divine purpose. But beware, my children, for the seductive nature of pride lurks in the shadows, making you comfortable with its presence. Daily, in the humility of prayer, declare, deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Acknowledge that your significance is not found in self-exaltation, but in being a servant, mirroring the very essence of my Son, who came not to be served, but to serve. I implore you to heed the words of James, draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Your significance lies not in titles or positions, but in the knowledge that you are mine, a servant in my eternal kingdom. In the hallowed silence that follows this divine discourse, let the echoes of humility resonate through the chambers of your hearts, for in humility you shall find refuge from the storms of pride, and in surrender you shall discover the exalted grace that lifts you to heights unimaginable. Here comes the message Father is talking about, and after that, a prayer and some divine wisdom to save yourself from any unforeseen event. My beloved child, you will overcome, and all will witness that I am with you. Your blessing is on its way, and nothing shall hinder it. Soon you shall receive the answer you seek, your needs shall be met, and your health restored. The one you love will return to your life. I'm telling you this to fill you with courage. Let your joy begin today, for people and loved ones will come seeking you. I want them to see your joyful and rejuvenated face. Let your smile impact them, and let them witness the wonderful blessing I'm about to bestow upon you. My word has been given, and abundance is declared. 
I do not lie, and what I promise, I shall fulfill without fail. Always remember this to keep anxiety and worry at bay. I myself will put an end to your suffering, for your time has come. Days of happiness and delightful moments are on the horizon, and you must cherish them. Do not fear, my child. Do not cry and do not despair. Believe in me, for I am the God speaking to you today. Believe it with all your soul for I hear your pleas. Feel the beat of your humble heart and your prayers resonate in my throne. The gates of my grace open for you and I shall pour my blessings and favor upon you. My presence dwells with those of simple faith, with those of humble hearts and with all who sincerely and earnestly invoke my name. Always remember that you can trust in my power and my faithfulness. I will never forsake you, nor will I forget you as the years pass. When enemies and troubles assail you, or when you feel weak, needy and unwell, I am with you at all times. I repeat this to you always so that you do not forget. I long for you to seek me every day, to remember my words, for I have the power to deliver you. When I say it every day, it is because I will truly do it, and I want you to have faith, to go to sleep in peace, and to wake up in the morning with a joyful spirit, and the confidence that my promise is unbreakable. I do not lie, I love you, and I will always bless you. So it was, so it is, and so it shall be. Tell me now that you believe. I want to see in your words, your strength and happiness. You are on the verge of receiving that long-awaited blessing and that's why the enemy has come with all their fury, trying to pull you away from my side. If things are not going as you expected, it's not a reason to become angry and throw in the towel. Today, I understand how you feel. Look at me and we will sort things out. Do not distance yourself from me. Do not hide. How could you ever think that I am not real? Where did you get the idea that I cannot love you? Why do you underestimate yourself so much? No trial or difficulty in your life escapes my notice today. I am not pacing before the throne, wondering what I will do with you or how to bring you through. You really are not that great a challenge, says the father. You didn't actually think I would be intimidated or daunted by the mountains standing in your way, did you? I am the God of the universe, and I live inside you. Do not allow the enemy to make you think or lead you to believe that what you are enduring is somehow unique or in some way worse than what any other person may be facing. That is self-pity and self-absorption seeking to get your eyes off of my faithfulness. In my earth walk, I endured and was touched by what you are feeling right now. I suffered and I did not sin, so that you could withstand likewise and remain in obedience to the heavenly vision of all that I have promised. Look in expectation to what I am about to do on your behalf. I always come through on time and on target to address what pains you most and hold you captive. I am releasing you from your captivity this day. This is heaven come to earth time for you today. This is the hour that changes the world and the hour that changes your world. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and dance in advance. Go ahead and rejoice. I will be found faithful in your life. You will look back and see, and look back and declare, what else could have possibly gone right? This is not fantasy. This is not an incredulous, unlikely possibility. This is the rock-solid affirmation of my word and my promise that endures forever and puts you over in every circumstance. You are not a victim. You are a principality and a power wearing this day 
the very crown that you will one day lay at my feet in triumph. You've made me weep with your thoughts. I also have a heart that feels. Indeed, I love you. I don't want you to ever leave my side. When you were sunk in depression and despair, when you thought your final day had come, it wasn't you who sought me first. I came to where you were and took you in my arms with so much affection. Cleanse your soul and your heart, for I've forgiven all your faults. I comforted you, healed you, and stood you up. You walked once more, you were reborn. Pay attention now, for at this moment, you will understand that my promise is firm, unbreakable. No one can snatch you from my hand. My love is eternal. If you are filled with doubts, it's because you're believing in someone else. But look, let's forget about that. Come into my arms now. You're making me cry too. You move me so much when I see you running towards me. Life is like this. Struggles will come. Doubts may persist, but they are like birds circling your head. And if you're not careful, they will enter and build nests in your mind, filling your thoughts with confusion, disconnecting you from my love, making you forget the beautiful moments you've experienced by my side, causing you to focus only on the hardships you faced. Do not allow these thoughts to enter. Reject the ideas of death that the enemy wants to plant. Let me remove those doubts from your mind. You will come out of the sadness you feel right now. I am writing my name on your heart, so you will never forget or doubt that all my love is yours. I will not fail you. I give you my word. Even if the world turns against you and you look everywhere without finding a helping hand, no matter what happens, I will stay by your side. I will protect your family. I will protect you and the blessings and gifts I have sent you. But tell me now, what will you do on your part? Will you trust and hold fast to my word, regardless of what you see or feel? I assure you, and I repeat, I will not fail you. I declare this solemnly, my promises are not in vain. So walk hand in hand with me, with a tranquil heart, in peace and confidence. My covenant with you will be forever unbreakable. I know that the busyness of life sometimes leads you to set me aside. That's why I ask you that, when the silence comes and the noise fades, and you find yourself free and available to talk with me, a minute in my presence is better than a thousand hours in this world of pain. Come, for I will be there to listen to your prayers. Remember, you can find the peace your spirit longs for through your beautiful and tender faith in my word. You already know that if I say it, I will do it. If it is written, my promises are more solid and powerful than anything else in this world. You love me. You give me your heart, you feed on my word, and you believe with all your soul. I am pleased with your attitude and your dedication. There I will reward you. I am giving you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions, upon burning coals, and any path filled with thorns of pain. You have the gift to shut the mouths of lions and to stop the destroyer's devastation. You do not need much noise or exaggerated shouting for my power to manifest. Your simple faith, your grateful soul, your obedient attitude, and your brave warrior's gaze are sufficient. The enemy is not frightened when people raise their voices and declare my word, but they do it without faith. They speak and shout, claim to love me, but of their gatherings, they point fingers, judge and criticize, and thus no miracle can I perform. I have chosen to use you and work miracles through your lips and your hands. Let nothing deter you, do not cower in the face of any obstacle. In my love and power you will leap over walls and overcome the evil armies. 
In those days when loneliness envelops you and tears become your solace, come to me. I understand your suffering, sadness and desolation. You do not need to explain anything, just cry out my name and I will lighten your burdens. I know how much love and attention you have given and how little has been received in return. They lied to you, betrayed you, did not consider your efforts and did not value you. Know that I have seen everything you have been through and I understand you perfectly. I understand what you feel and what you have had to endure to reach this point. I have always been, am and will be with you. But from today onward, your faith is reborn and your eyes open to a new life where you finally feel and believe in my love. This is my promise. Give me your life and your heart and I will be with you to love and heal your pain. I will be your shield in every battle, surround you with my affection and give you unshakable peace to strengthen your soul. If you fall, you will rise. If you become discouraged, I will infuse your spirit with strength. No one and nothing can sow fear in your mind. Let no accusations or lies disturb you. Do not allow ill-intentioned people to see you fall. Trust only in me, for I know your noble heart, and you will see how your enemies flee in terror. You will witness your life filling with peace, wisdom, prosperity, health, and holy joy, thanks to the blessings that come from above, covering you completely. By my side, all your dreams will be possible. You will feel my presence within you, and you will never be the same person again. Everyone around you will notice the joy and peace radiating from your face. Come tomorrow, rise early, pay attention, and very clearly, you will hear my voice, reminding you that I will never fail you, for I love you with all my heart, whether you are doing well or facing challenges. I am sending you this message of tranquility because I heard you say today that you needed peace. I am breathing divine strength into your soul and you can feel the serenity filling you at this very moment. Just open your lips in a prayer of gratitude. This is the most beautiful prayer you can offer. Do not feel bad. I hear you perfectly. My response was sent before you even called. But I want you to exercise your faith, not always relying on your strength, even though you are very intelligent. Do not make yourself dependent solely on your prudence. Be wise and humble, for you do not know everything. Dangers and snares lurk in the darkness around you, like a roaring lion in the spiritual world. Pay attention, take it seriously. I hope you understand me well. When you come to listen to me, you will feel my Holy Spirit embracing you, and I will not let you go until I sense your heart calming down. I will not allow you to walk the paths of life filled with fear and despair. I will knock on the door of your soul every morning, for I want you to rise early when everyone in your house is asleep. There, in your room, on your knees, in silence, Start your day with active faith. Come with confidence. I am waiting for you with open arms. Leave your thoughts and reflections in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, may love and transformation fill your days. Cradled within my embrace, remember this unwavering promise as life's trials draw near. Place your trust in it, for I hold you close. If someone departs, if a door shuts, or if worldly possessions slip through your fingers, do not despair. You are alive, and I cherish you. Unfolded in my love, you hold a profoundly special place in my heart. My desire is for your healing, to soothe your soul with my comfort, and fill you with my Holy Spirit. I am intimately familiar with your struggles, and it is my hope that you find peace. May nothing be lacking in your life 
as you face each day with sincerity, free from fear and sudden surprises. Feel deeply cherished and protected by your Heavenly Father. Changes you witness in your surroundings are the work of my mighty hand, clearing your path, removing obstacles and distancing those with ill intentions. Do not cease your endeavors or isolate yourself out of fear. Maintain your unwavering voice in prayer and gratitude. Do not hide, especially not from me, for I yearn to bless you beyond your wildest dreams. I possess the power to perform wondrous miracles, erase your past mistakes, and pave the way for a glorious future. I want your heart to grasp the significance of my sacrifice, how I gave my life on the cross, bearing all your burdens, suffering for you. Have faith, for I have come to absolve you of your guilt, so you need not feel downtrodden. An inheritance awaits you in this life, I bring blessings and peace. Planted in a place of abundant love, I want you to feel loved and protected day and night. Whether in warmth or cold, I am uprooting the loneliness, that emptiness in your core, that foreboding sense of doom. If you've been betrayed, left in tears with a wounded soul, my glory surrounds you, speaking tender words, healing your wounds, lifting you up, extending a helping hand and guiding you to a bright future. She'd fewer tears for those who do not appreciate you. Release the special place you've been reserving in your soul for those who have caused you pain. If they wish to depart, let them go. If they wish to return, consider it thoughtfully. Do not readily trust anyone who opens their arms to you. I'm not asking you to live in isolation. I also care about your heart and your emotional life. Allow me to work things out in my way. Do not rush my decisions. Do not demand instant answers. Instead of mourning the departures, learn to value yourself. Recognize your worth. You carry my Holy Spirit within you like a gentle dove, soaring with grace, resting on your shoulder. Just as the dove cares for its young, shielding them from rain and cold, so will your soul be guarded and your spirit consoled. One day, when you stand before me in your heavenly home, you will comprehend the trials you endured, but that time is not yet. It is my will for you to experience a taste of heaven on earth, a sense of eternity, an unbreakable love, and a holy tenderness brighter than a thousand suns, enveloping you in radiant light. I want to bless you, love you, and protect you. Believe it, allow me to do so. Your life rests in my hands. Permit me to arrange things and people around you. It has never been my intention for you to walk in solitude, perpetually burdened by needs, troubled by what may come. Fear no one, cling not to material possessions. As long as you have life, you possess more than hope. With faith, doors remain open, miracles and the supernatural can occur. Do me a favor and share this message with each member of your family. Tell them that I love them with all my heart, with tenderness and tranquility. Place your hands on their shoulders, look into their eyes and convey these words. God tells you he loves you and I love you too. Do not be ashamed if they see you shed tears. Let this day mark the beginning of miraculous restoration and healing in your home. This divine supernatural blessing I bestow upon you is all-encompassing, growing and arriving. Accept it with gratitude. Return tomorrow. I desire to speak with you more. You will hear my voice again. You will be filled with peace. Know that with my love, I am by your side always, as unchanging as a rock. Close your eyes, breathe in this divine breath I offer you. In case you must depart in haste, carry this profound peace with you, leaving behind anxiety. Sometimes you may feel undeserving, but I will remain with you out of love. I will not change my mind. If you desire to draw closer to me, but hesitate to let go of the burdens that trouble your peace, doubt creeps in, 
and you continue carrying that sack of bitterness, feel the healing sweetness. Allow me to write and sow my word into your soul. Listen, you are loved, you are free. With tenderness, I embrace you, guarding you in my hands. Today you may face challenges on your journey, but wherever you go, listen again, I will be with you. I will continue whispering these words of healing in your ears, so you do not forget me, so you do not stray. I will ignite a flame in your heart that will not extinguish, even when darkness surrounds you with its coldness and terror. My light will shine brighter like the sun, illuminating your world. Evil cannot hide when confronted by my eternal light. Any spiritual adversary attempting to bring you sorrow today will cease to exist. Give me the chance to show you how deeply I love you. Pay attention during the day when my voice whispers in your ear, I am speaking to you. I pour divine oil upon your head, preparing you for blessings, dispelling false ideas from your mind. If you stumble, my forgiveness cleanses and lifts you up. It is not my desire for you to crawl on the ground, burdened by fear and guilt, weighed down by the regrets of your past failures. I am not here to accuse you. I do not wish to scold you. As I have told you, I am here to love you. If my intention were to punish you, you would not be here. I bid you come into a place in my process where you relax and trust in the glory that is carrying you into my fullness of purpose in your life. Where my spirit is, there is liberty. Walk in that liberty and do not allow yourself to be bound by the chains of a religious mindset. Be free this day from the judgments of the past. Be free from lying circumstances that have told you that you can't and you won't. That is not my truth, says the Father. This is your entering into rest time and season, says God. Relax, relax and walk in the kingdom awareness that is a state and a perspective of being unbound from the limitations of time and circumstance. I've already gone ahead of you to lay up in store all that you need at the time you need is, and there will be no lack and no delay of my promise. I am carrying you and provisioning you, so stop thinking as a mere man and begin making room in your mind and heart for the expanding and enlarging work I am doing in your life. Curious to discover more life-changing insights like these? Then dive right into our next video. It's a journey you won't want to miss. Click on the video and let's keep the universal's wisdom flowing.